Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to change a receiver on a Widex receiver and canal model. So this is actually one of the easiest receivers to change in the market. So with the hearing aid itself, when the receiver is correctly attached, if you give it quite a little bit of a tug, you should notice that it doesn't come out easily at all. To remove this one that we think may be broken, the best technique is to, you actually just have to pull it. There's no locking pins or anything, but the best technique is to just get your, your two fingers underneath the wire like that. Use your thumb for grip. Make sure you have a good grip on the body of the hearing aid itself, and then just pull upwards like so. Okay, so it should come out fairly easily. The new one should come in a little packet that looks like this which will be posted out to you. So you would get the new one out of the packet. Make sure that you've reattached the new dome um, to the new receiver. And just make sure what you'll notice, if you look up close, there are two little wires there and they need to be placed in. There's two little holes for them just in here. So I'd go in quite gently just so you don't bend one of them and just slowly push it in. It's not quite in yet, so then I just use my fingernail to give it that last little click. Okay, so it should be nice and flush like that when it's in properly. If it's not in quite right, when you look from the side, you will notice that it's out a few millimeters, so it just needs to be clicked back in like that. And then when you give it a little tug, it should be nice and secure. So there you go. That's how to change a receiver on a Widex receiver in the canal hearing aid. Thank you.